And so to win the eyeshadow powder, make sure. Hey y'all, it's your girl Welcome back to another YouTube video. What's poppin', what's good? So today we have an eyeshadow tutorial. And y'all have been loving this look on me recently. Um, nice brown, soft glam type of look. So I decided to show it to you guys. I'm actually on my way to work now, which is why, you know, I'm kind of talking a little fast, but I'm also going to give away the palette that I use. This is the Juvia's Place Chocolate Palette Child. This is my favorite neutral tone palette. I really love these colors. They blend so nicely. So one of you guys will have a chance to win that eyeshadow palette. So to win the eyeshadow palette, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite brands are to get eyeshadow. Anastasia, Juvia's Place, Menta Cosmetics, NYX Cosmetics, whoever it is. Um, comment down below which one is your favorite. And make sure you turn your personal notifications on so that way you know every time that I upload. And yeah, I love giving stuff away. I just feel like it's just, I don't know. It feels good to like do little giveaways and like give y'all products that I absolutely love and adore. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and let's just get right into the video. All right, first things first, we are gonna start with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is one of my favorite primers and I'm also gonna use a discontinued. Bro. NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer. NYX, if you're watching this, bring that back. Okay, bring it back. But the main reason why I'm putting the NYX Proof It Primer in my um, inner corners is because allergy season is upon us and my eyes have been watering, girl. So next, I'm going to take the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take this color and put it all over the crease with a fluffy blending brush. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but here we are. So I'm just gonna put that all over my crease just with a fluffy blending brush. And then I'm gonna take this shimmer shade with a flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. and I'm gonna place that all over the lid. Next, I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush. Oh my God, why is it so hard for me to say? And just blend everything out, make sure it's nice and seamless. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. and Duncan Putty Primer. I absolutely love this primer, it's really nice. And I'm just gonna put that all over the face. And then I'm gonna take my Too Faced Born This Way Matte in the shade Tiramisu. And yes, I'm using that sponge because I pay for it. Now, this is one of the crucial things to do is your concealer to give that nice lifted eye. Um, I'm using the, well, you already saw it, but I'm using this concealer and I like to put it up to my temples, okay? Take it out and put it up to my temples. Now, I could use a sponge with this, but my sponge was dirty. Uh, so here we are with a clean buffing brush. And again, you see I'm lifting it and blending it down a little bit to make it look seamless. And for some reason in that area, I always get like way more darkness. So I'm just putting a little bit more concealer and then I'm going to set it. Please ignore that face. Oh my God. <laughs> But I'm going to set it with a um, Fenty powder and just put it in place. And I love this powder, actually. This is like one of my favorite powders of all time. And I'm going to put that in the same upwards like motion to kind of lift the eye and snatch the face. Okay, honey? And then I'm just gonna blend it out to make it look seamless with the same sponge that I use for my foundation. And then I'm gonna set everywhere else that I put the highlighter. So my nose, my chin, my forehead. And then I'm just making sure everything is set in place. So as you can see, the eye looks like it's more lifted, especially with the eyeshadow. It just makes it look more seamless. So to continue with the lifted look, I place the blush on the high points of my cheeks. I don't put it on the apple of my cheeks anymore. It just looks way more lifted and seamless. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow shimmer and put it on the inner corners just to kind of brighten the eye a little bit more. 
and then I'm going back in with that same shade I used for the crease just underneath the eye. I haven't done that in a while actually. Um, let me know if you guys put eyeshadow underneath your eyes because I don't. I haven't been recently but now I might go back to it. I actually really like it. And I love this mascara. I just rediscovered it. I loved it before. I just forgot about it. And I'm back again with this mascara. It's so nice. Very volumizing. And also lengthening at the same time. And honestly, like, I'm very picky about my mascaras, y'all. And this just makes the eye look even better. Okay? I love this mascara. Nice fluffy lashes, but still, like, really nice and soft and just beautiful. And then, duh, I'm going to set my face with some setting spray from Milani. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter that is no longer. But yes, I still have mine. And I'm going to use it till the day I die. And again, I'm putting it on the high points of my cheeks and right underneath my brow. Just again, to look more lifted. And yes, I did put bronzer on. I just didn't show that for some reason. I do not know why, but yeah. Then I'm going to put the highlighter everywhere else and then set my face again because I'm a maniac. And yeah, that is the final look. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment on the video so that way you can be entered into the giveaway and I will see you guys next time. Bye.